Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, baby. This news is coming hot and fresh out the kitchen. It's about the NHS, the Sapphire System, optical genome mapping. First of all, we got to thank our South End cowboy, Sulfur. AKA Sulfur Gab, thank you so much for sharing this with us. This is about the NHS getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. So, about a year ago, you can see the Northeast and Yorkshire NHS Genomics Medicine Service. They adopted a Sapphire System down here. You can see Bio Nano Genomics Sapphire System looking juicy in the lab. And they said the optical genome mapping represents a novel approach to the study of structural genomic variation and offers the promise of replacing multiple existing genetic tests with a single test workflow. They said they're excited to evaluate this technology within the NHS and now we're a year later. So this was released on the 20th of October 2021. A year later they're presenting so they said come and join us at the Genomics Summit this week. This is a North East Yorkshire NHS Genomics Medicine Service. We'll be sharing information about embedding genomics in primary care, nursing, midwifery, feto, maternal, and using optical genome mapping techniques. So they've tagged the NHS Genomics Medicine Service here. There are a segment of it. There's seven hubs, I believe, in the UK. And then they've hashtagged diagnosis, personalized treatment, prevention, NHS Genomics 2022, and optical genome mapping. So what they're planning to do is embed genomics into routine clinical care for faster, more accurate diagnosis, personalized treatment, and prevention. And Sulfur Gab says, oh lordy. Like. So like I said, the NHS is moving into this kind of preventative healthcare model where we're not looking and waiting for people to get sick and then trying to treat them when they've already symptomatic, but they want to harness the true power and the potential of genomic medicine. So here's a few points they've made. They said they want to get quicker diagnosis for patients with rare disease, limiting the possibility of years of uncertainty, often referred to as the diagnostic odyssey. They want to match people to the most effective medications and interventions, reducing the likelihood of an adverse drug reaction, as well as increase the number of people surviving cancer each year because of more accurate and early diagnosis and more effective use of therapies. So they've got this NHS long-term plan. There's like a 10-year plan to transform the NHS, digitalize it, but also bring in, you know, innovative technologies. Now I want to show you a study that just came out recently, but first I just want to show you this. So the NHS said that they want to use and offer whole genome sequencing and be the first national healthcare system to offer whole genome sequencing as part of routine care, including for all children with cancer or children who are seriously ill with a likely genetic disorder. Back in 2021, there was an article that said that whole genome sequencing as a metric, you can see here, 75% of structural variants that are present in that person's genome are missed by whole genome sequencing. More recently, you can see here, that an article came out announcing the publication of a study from Sorbonne Université showing that whole genome sequencing identified only 63% of structural variations that optical genome mapping detected in liver cancer. Optical genome mapping revealed a median of 1.4 times more structural variants than whole genome sequencing. And we finish off with this comment from Eric Comlin. He said, cancer is often fought as as a disease of structural variation. And this study illustrates how optical genome mapping has the potential to help unravel the complex mechanisms involved in oncogenesis. It shows that optical genome mapping can be more sensitive for detecting large structural variations than whole genome sequencing. And it provides a nice example of how complementary the two methods are. So with the NHS's uh, kind of plan for genomics, and what they want to do to implement genomics into care between 2022 to 2025. They wanted to focus on uh, three key pillars. This is diagnosis and personalized medicine, prevention, early detection, and research. In terms of diagnosis and personalized medicine, they wanted to roll out the world's first whole genome sequencing service for adults and children with certain cancers and indications suggesting an undiagnosed rare disease. In 2020, Wales already launched their first rapid whole genome sequencing service for seriously ill children. Want to talk about Wales? Let's talk about this university. University Aberystwyth. Aberystwyth University has been given a support boost. There's like a two million pound investment as part of the biomass feedstocks innovation program. I think these guys already have or are renting. I don't know if it's a rental agreement or they've bought a Sapphire system, but you can see here Aberystwyth University and they've been using bionanogenomics or genome mapping. As we can see here, bionanogenomics they've been utilizing. And this is alongside Illumina, um, Oxford Nanopore Technologies as well. So they use multiple technologies at their university. So with the news about whole genome sequencing, the NHS, like I said before, and how it only reveals part of the puzzle 
in the genome. There's a place here. There's a place in the NHS for the Sapphire system for optical genome mapping. I have a video here from 11 months ago when I emailed the top scientist, Eric Topol. The reason why I emailed this guy is because the NHS often uses him for consultation advice with regards to their long-term plan and digitalizing the NHS as well as, you know, upgrading the NHS with innovative technologies and artificial intelligence. So back when I was a student, I used my student email to uh, drop him a message and I asked him a few key questions. In this video, as you can see above, if you can read this writing, it says, I was reading the 2019 NHS long-term plan for healthcare delivery. I saw that the NHS value the work you're doing on helping transform it. I was wondering if you think whole genome sequencing will be built into newborn screening within the NHS. If innovative long-range technologies can help find the structural variations that whole genome sequencing misses, like long reads, or optical genome mapping, and also how will AI impact and improve healthcare delivery? Eric replied, he's a man of very few words, but Eric said to me, yes, time's free. So he believes whole genome sequencing is gonna be implemented into the NHS across the country. He believes that long range technology will also be implemented such as you know optical genome mapping, and it will help find the structural variants that whole genome sequencing misses. So we're talking 11 months back, I made this video when I emailed Eric Topol, um, and you can see over here, after adoption of um, bionanogenome Sapphire and evaluating the technology for one whole year. We're in this place here now where they're training up, you know, members of staff to get accustomed to genomics, including nurses and midwives. And now new techniques such as optical genome mapping has been around for a while, but it's new to them, right? They believe a year ago, they said it would replace the old traditional methods. And here they are presenting at the Genomics Summit, talking about embedding optical genome mapping into the NHS for routine clinical care, faster, more accurate diagnosis, personalized treatment and prevention. So you you guys are saying oh it's all good but you know what about the sales you know what about this what about the bloody market cap when are we going to see sapphire system install base of thousands and thousands well this is not financial advice for entertainment only i believe that you know it's coming adoption is coming and it, it may be one sapphire at a time right now but when we get them into the key sites when more information comes out like the the nhs has taken 11 months a year to validate optical genome mapping and see how useful it is now they're going to present their information let's take a look at that genomic summit and see what they found and to implement and to put it into routine screening routine healthcare to embed genomics into the nhs to embed optical genome mapping techniques into the nhs this is a big deal it's a major deal but we're still here at the very start so you know the share price the sales it just feels like it's all brewing and uh, let's see how they play the game let's see how things work out but for me i'm hoping it still comes down to one dollar fifty cents i'm waiting for a buyout of my other company that i've been invested in it's an oil and gas company and at one dollar fifty cents i'm going to be buying as much bio nanogenomics as possible i really believe long term uh, this is a good investment for me anyway this is not financial advice i just believe um in terms of the research that i've done and my belief in how they're going to implement the sapphire system into labs across the world i'm super excited to see what the future holds and i can't wait to see you know sapphire and store base build out over the coming years and i want to see if this company can fulfill its true potential and turn into a beast of the company in the field of genomics so thank you guys so much for watching um if you'd like to join channel memberships just click the join button on my channel it's only 99 cents it really helps me create videos videos like this so I love and appreciate you guys thank you so much for always tagging me as well in information and dropping me emails and always sending me messages and if you want to watch this video just type in uh, huge bingo news I email top scientist Eric Topol and you can see his thoughts and feelings on optical genome mapping and the world of genomics always remember this is not financial advice for entertainment only and thank you so much for watching hit that like hit that subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video Mr. Invest a lot over and out baby